We've come to Dubai today to bring you a fantastic Swarf and Chips episode. And what's coming up is the best of Steel Fab 2023. Absolutely. We also have some local voices telling us what they love about Steel Fab. And as we always say on Swarf and Chips, Mo, keep, keep those, those spindles, spindles turning. turning. Mate, that was fantastic. Nice one. Do you think this suits me? This is fabric that's been 3D printed on by a Stratasys machine. This is 3D fashion technology you can find on a J85X machine. Now, Peugeot have recently released they're going to be using this technology to do custom uh, door cards and floor mats. So people, if, you've, if you didn't think you could customize your car enough, you can customize your car with all of this 3D design work and find it on your brand new Peugeot concept car. Make sure you check those out, coming soon uh, from Peugeot, also made by Stratasys. Okay, and one of the best of here is the Trump True Punch 2000. Now, I've been talking to Pierre here, who's the operator running this fantastic demo. And right, right now, they're showing off. Um, Pierre, what, what demo is it right now? Just to tell me what it is. This is uh, the punching machine, uh, True Punch 2000 S18 model. Brilliant. And what are you actually punching? Uh, we are punching some uh, sample of Astray. Brilliant. So it's like an enclosure that you then go and bend afterwards. And that's the whole point of punching out or laser cutting. You then go and bend it and you get a full product without having to machine out of a uh, solid billet. And instead of a solid billet coming in, you get these big fat uh, sheets. Uh, and that makes it a lot more cost effective to make those kinds of parts. And this can, these can be uh, much bigger parts like server cabinets, like drawers, trays. Um, and they can be really complex. You might think, well, what can you really do with a press brake? But there's a lot you can do with a press brake. Um, but before you get to the press break, you've got to punch things out. You've got to make these kind of flat parts. And that's why what you do with the true punch here. And Pierre was telling me this is the workhorse that Trump's come out with. It's 160 newtons of pressing force, which means it can do about four millimeters in, in uh, aluminium, four millimeters in steel, and two and a half millimeters in stainless steel. So they're not that thick thicknesses, but you can still make a lot of parts with this. So if you need that kind of punching capacity, this is the machine to go for. And as always, at every show, you have to check out the DMG Mori stand. And we're here in front of a CTX machine. It's a Milton. Andreas, what are you showing and why have you brought this to the Middle East? Yeah. Um, we have actually the CLX 450TC here, which is a turn mill center. So as the name says, turning and milling. And uh, we show on this part um, the totally different uh, operations like turning, like milling, drilling, depot drilling, all this stuff. So to do complex parts in one shot. Brilliant, and it, it's, uh, it looks like a steel part as well. So this is a, a mill turn, um, and you're doing steel. It's not just uh, all these complex operations in aluminium, you're doing a harder material as well. And why have you brought it to steel fab? Why, how does it apply to this, uh, this market in this sector? Yeah, we actually think that uh, this kind of machine will be the universal machine of the future. It's, uh, in our opinion, it will replace uh, turret machines to a certain extent. And um, because of the um, uh, advantages that you can do really all operations in one shot. So you don't have to bring it from one mill to a, a lace and uh, then uh, you have waiting times and, and quality problems and so on. So um, here you do everything in one setup and then uh, it's done. Brilliant. Machine of the future, you can't say better than that. Best of steel fab. Did you think the press brakes were a thing of the past? The technology is old, they're just not that sexy to look at. Look at this Prima Power press brake. There's some real good tech in. Roberto, why is this a special piece of press brake technology? Well, thanks for joining us, first of all. And then uh, answer for your question, there are many reasons. But the main one, and that's the reason why we presented to the UAE market, uh, is that is a full servolite technology. What does it mean? 
It means there is no hydraulic, no, no all traditional, but there is a new way of programming the machine today for the customer to deliver the part uh, easier, more accurate, precise, and with a full control. So everything can be monitored from remote, from the customer, and then is going to deliver faster, more accurate, the components which are required to be done. So this has gone from kind of a, a boring, well not boring, but an older hydraulic mechanical system to there's a lot of electronics, a lot of electrics. There's even, there's a sticker that says Industry 4. What does that mean? This machine, it is a completely new, best. Is a, I would say, you know, there is some disruptive technology coming over and this is representing it. The Industry 4.0 is a new way of controlling, managing the data, the uh, work in the shop floor for all the customers. It allows to have a better record of what the job has been done, the maintenance required, uh, and the support from remote from our company. So any customer around the world who needs uh, a right technology and advanced technology as well at the same time for a, a good price, then this is the answer for you. If you thought a bandsaw blade was simple, think again. I'm here with Marcus from Honsberg, and you guys make a wide variety of blades. Just give me the, the quickest rundown you can of, the, of what you use the blades for and what kind of construction they are. Um, yes, we are here on Steel Fab, not only to cut steel. We are in the UAE for 15 years, but besides the regular construction or steel cutting business, we also service applications which you don't have directly in mind, like uh, cutting of heat exchangers for power plants, cutting of high-speed cutting of aluminum, aluminum bars in aluminum industry. If you came here with an airplane, there's a pretty good chance that the landing gears for the airplane or the honey comes in the airplane or the shuffles in the turbines are cut with our bandsaw blades. And these applications are so demanding, they're not just a standard machine shop trying to cut a, a, a billet. No. The, what, what, do, what exactly do these applications demand and how do you achieve those? We talk about surface roughness. We talk about uh, machinability, that uh, you reach certain tolerances which other competitors cannot reach. So we come from the application. What does the end user need? Uh, and this is, sometimes it's a corporation and we do this often here in the UAE. Also, in, we had today a case, for example, nickel-based alloys cutting uh, this inconel, this heat alloys, very tough, gummy uh, materials, and for this we have, as the people don't know how to cut it, because, because you cannot read it in a book. There where our technician comes out and helps you to achieve the uh, best performance to cut this demanding, difficult materials. Okay, so bandsaw blades for demanding, difficult materials, this is best of steel fab. Check out Hansberg Blades. And now let's hear from some local voices about what they think of the show. My name is Ubaid Al Ali. I am living here in United Arab Emirates. I am the agent of Hansborg from more than 13 years. We are attending this show more than 10 years. I like steel fabs because this is the one which is in the region, in all the Middle East, including the machinery and tools, especially for you know all the region and Africa. We have got many customers from GCC, from Asia, from uh, Africa, all of them coming for this steel fab for machinery and tools. Uh, my name is Chetan. I'm representing uh, Hidayat Group. Uh, my group is located in the UAE, based in UAE, the corporate office. But also we have uh, got uh, factories in uh, Saudi Arabia, outlets in uh, Oman, Qatar, India, and also Canada. Uh, here we are, I am here to explore the good technology, the new technology and the new machines available in the market. In fact, we also participated over here as, a service, as we have a service center for the stainless steel industries as well as the mild steel industries and it would be good enough for the fabricated, fabrication people who are looking for the service industries. Uh, surprise me of this year, there is a different company available different company from all the region. I see UK, uh, DMG Morisiki, uh, Chinese, uh, Korean, uh, Japanese also available. Many company from all the, uh, the world it's coming to uh, expect here. This is the market here. Now the, you, the GCC booming. Africa is going to booming soon. Uh, now this is the hub 
of all the region, the GCC, especially the Middle East. And the people trust this uh, exhibition, Steel Fab. Uh, I get, today I get more than 20 persons in my boots here to come to ask about our product. Wow, what a day it has been at Steel Fab 2023. We've seen so much exciting stuff. It almost feels like the whole manufacturing world has come to Dubai just for this week. And like we always say in Swarf and Chips, make sure you tune in next time and keep those spindles turning.